LeBron James, 38 years old. Kevin Durant, 34 years old. Stephen Curry, 35 years old. Chris Paul, 37 years old. Russell Westbrook, 34 years old. These players are officially ancient. So keeping this in mind, we'll be looking at the five NBA players that are on the verge of a breakout. But before we get into today's video, what are you doing? Make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers and make sure you smash the like button. If you enjoyed today's video, enough me talking. Let's get right onto the first player that's on the verge of a breakout. And the first player is Austin Reeves. Although the Lakers have been having a pretty rocky season, when LeBron James got injured, Austin Reeves stepped up and he is finally just turning it up a notch and in the last 10 games, Austin Reeves is averaging 18.9 points per game, 3.8 rebounds per game and 6.4 assists per game. But the one thing that makes Austin Reeves stand out most to me is his ability to shine in the clutch. And players that get opportunities, some of them shy out and they don't do as well. But Reeves is the complete opposite as he does not force a shot and he does not have to score a bucket to make an impact in the game. Good example of this was the Lakers game against the OKC Thunder where Austin Reeves was only shooting 25% from the field so instead of chucking up even more shots Austin Reeves went to his assist bag and he dimed nine assists. But it's very rare that Austin Reeves does not step up in the fourth quarter as in his last five games Austin Reeves is averaging eight points one rebound and 2.4 assists just in the fourth quarter. Damn boy! That's what I'm talking about, Jake! Having a 24 year old like this that can step up is gonna be even more dangerous when LeBron James is back as Braun will have another person to hit that is a sniper from the three-point line. This recent clutch play by Austin Reeves cements his role into the starting lineup, and that means that if the Lakers make it to the playoffs, I see Austin Reeves turning into like a Tyler hero and having a huge jump in the playoffs. Second player that is having a breakout season right now is Mikael Bridges, and let me tell you why. When he was playing for the Phoenix Suns, Mikael Bridges only had a usage rate of 15%, which is pretty mediocre, but when he went to the Brooklyn Nets, he now has a usage rate of 21 1.4%. And the craziest thing is, Mikhail Bridges' stats went up and his field goal went up at the same time. When you look at other players in the league, when their usage goes up, in most cases their field goal percentage also drops down. Mikhail Bridges had a 46.3% field goal with the Phoenix Suns. And now with the Brooklyn Nets, he's shooting the ball at a 49.7 field goal percentage. As Mikhail Bridges gains more playoff experience, I think that his numbers are going to go even higher. He's a player that can easily drop you in the high 20 points per game and the craziest part is bridges isn't just a scorer he's a guy that can go ahead and pick up full court guard the best guy on the opposite team he is an excellent defender the kill bridges is also taking on the role of a ball handler so once he continues to do this over and over again with a team on his back he's going to continue to be a more composed player and mikhail bridges is also learning some more dribble moves so that he can pull out some nice mid-range jumpers and he's admitted that he is learning how to dribble a little bit better this season so it's just so scary how he's averaging 25 points with the nets right now and he's still admitting that he has things to work on now let's move on to the third player that is on the verge of a breakout and this is most definitely scotty barnes and you guys may be saying scotty barnes isn't playing good this season but scotty barnes is averaging 15.5 points per game 6.9 rebounds and 4.7 assists but i think the one thing that's holding him back is that pascal siakam is running the offense in toronto so i think once scotty barnes can take the throne of the toronto raptors and become the primary ball handler and most of his plays set for him i think he can actually become a superstar player this is because scotty barnes has things that usually are hard to teach and this is teaching someone how to play defense you don't have to do that with scotty barnes as he already has that in his repertoire similar to Giannis, scotty barnes is a project player all he needs to have is a three-point shot and a more consistent mid-range shot and let me tell you scotty barnes is going to become a superstar i also think that the toronto raptors need to make the playoffs this season so scotty barnes can experience the playoffs once again because i'm telling you playoffs is what makes a player better let's move on to the fourth player who is on the verge of a breakout season and this is nicholas claxton claxton is a player that once again is getting way more usage as kyrie irving and kd are out this nets roster claxton has cemented himself as one of the best defenders in the league as he's averaging 2.5 blocks per game once again players that have defensive abilities in their repertoire they're going to most definitely be amazing players and always are going to be on the floor claxton is also averaging career highs in almost every stat and is averaging 12.5 points per game 9.2 rebounds per game 
and two assists per game. All of these numbers are without the three point shot. So I think that if Claxton goes into the off season, focusing on his jumper, his mid range shots, his ball handling, he could become a Joel Embiid type player, not at the Joel Embiid level, most definitely, but he can become a very solid player. Claxton's minutes also took a severe jump from 20 minutes per game to 30 minutes per game. And as he continues to play more minutes, he's going to see more of the defensive sets and learn how to score with a limited amount of dribbles. And if Claxton can end up doing that, scoring effortlessly he's going to become a very solid player but we have to realize that Claxton is still a young player with plenty of room to develop and reportedly last season Claxton was working very hard in the offseason so if he can continue to do that he can become double the player he is right now why I have so much high hopes for this guy is that he's highly athletic and a versatile player who can play multiple positions and contribute in various ways on both ends of the court and the fifth and final player that will have the biggest jump next season is Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams is such an impressive player both on the offensive and defensive side of the court and when I watch him play it just reminds me of Kawhi Leonard and what makes Jalen Williams oddly good is that he's six foot five which isn't that tall but he has a seven foot two wingspan this makes him look so much bigger and taller than he actually is this wingspan gives him the ability to get multiple tip passes that's why he is so good on the defensive end and Williams does not have a one thing in his game that isn't good his three-point shot is 35 percent which is actually very solid for a rookie at his length he can go down the hill and do some crazy dunks as well but the only thing that Jalen Williams really needs is more NBA reps it's very surprising how he's doing all of this in his first NBA season and he looks more promising to me than Scotty Barnes did and once Chet Holmgren comes onto this OKC roster it's gonna give Jalen Williams so much more room to operate which will give him wide open three-pointers and I will be so excited if I see the OKC Thunder make the playoffs because if Jalen Williams hits the playoffs and gets that experience experience in his rookie season watch out nba this player is going to surprise you let me know what you guys think about this list in the comments once again this is not an ordered list it's not going from one to five it's just the five players that will have a big jump next season and let me know in the comment section which player out of these five has the best chance of becoming a superstar player and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button we are so close to 4,000 subscribers that is absolutely nuts and if you enjoyed today's video make sure you guys smash the like button Button. that's been all for your boy Mubsy hoops if you want to watch some more NBA content click on one of these videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace